Shongile was born on the 3rd of February 2016 to Karula, the Queen of Juma. And we were privileged to watch her grow from a beautiful spotted fur ball all the way until her enforced independence when Karula disappeared in March of 2017. On the 19th of August was the last time we saw little Shongile. It was an exciting afternoon as we managed to find her and her brother lying up in the shade. And it was the first time we had seen the two royal cubs together for quite some time. The afternoon unfortunately didn't end the way that we thought it would. Soon after arriving at the sighting and watching the two royals sleep away the heat of the day, Tandi began to stalk Shongile and Hosanna, both of them unaware of her presence. Soon though she shot in like a flash, Shongile departed the scene and they ended up then trying to get into this fight where they were rolling around, biting, scratching and clawing at one another. But they both are going at each other properly. There was a temporary hiatus where both of them then separated, darkness soon closed in and the hiatus then ended. Tandi chased Shongile once again, this time they squabbled and Shongile ended up into the tree. While that was the last sighting for us here on Juma, there has been reports of Shongile being seen by various other lodges to our south. Unfortunately though, those reports are not substantiated by photographic or video evidence and it's difficult to know whether or not she was mistakenly identified with another smaller female, perhaps someone like Shadow's Cub. Those reports go all the way up until the 5th of October, but it's getting harder and harder to think that she's still in our area given that we haven't seen any signs since then. What made this situation unusual is that Shungile found herself in an unoccupied territory as a sub-adult leopardess. So she wasn't sawing, she wasn't marking territory. And this meant that from the west, Shadow could close in on Karula's old territory and from the east, Tandi could do the same. Now Tandi seems to have taken up residence in this area. There are two possible scenarios. One, she is dead. She's fallen prey to perhaps wild dogs, hyenas, another female leopard, another male leopard. The other option is that she has dispersed further afield. It's not entirely impossible that because of the strange situation here, she has sought out a territory away from her natal territory, but we would have expected to have records from the other reserves around here, but we haven't had a report of her now for at least a month. The point is, we don't know what's happened. Very few leopards make it from cub all the way to territorial adulthood. We, like you, hope that she is still alive and perhaps is seeking out a territory away from the protection that used to be afforded by her mother. Are you addicted to Africa? Well, click subscribe and you can stay hooked to all the wild moments. If you still can't get enough, click on the little bell and you'll be notified for your daily dose of live safari.